take. Well, hello students. I am going to do a uh, demonstration for you today on back combing, back brushing, um, and you're going to finish it off with an updo. So if you were not here for the day that we did back combing or back brushing with an updo, this is what you'll be doing. Um, just follow the guide here, the tutorial here, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to back brush. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to create a cushion for fullness. It doesn't have to be on the front if you don't want it. It could be back here, wherever you want, but I'm gonna give you just the instructions on how to go about doing that. So I'm gonna take the length of the roller that you would have placed across the top of the, the crown of the head. I'm gonna take my brush, just my bent brush that's in your kit, and I'm gonna create a cushion at the scalp. I'm going to go one, two, Three. So that gives it a little base at the scalp for fullness. I'm going to let go of this. And so when I use my brush, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the little hairs, the, the small hairs into the scalp. So this head, this head is textured and I'm pushing those hairs down into the scalp. Two. And I'm going to do three. I'm going to do measure out three sizes of rollers. One, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to bring and I'm just going to lightly brush the top of this back brushing. What I'm doing here is back brushing and I'm going to lightly just smooth out the top there. Okay. And I'm going to take my bobby pins and turn it around here a little bit for you. I'm going to take my bobby pins and I'm going to secure this little back brushing fullness that I did here, the fullness on top, okay? And I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna pin that in, okay? Then you have a little back combing comb like this. I'm gonna smooth that out and I'm gonna lift it wherever I want it, like that, okay? Now I'm gonna create and I'm gonna take the sides here and what you're going to do with the rest is up to you. I'm just going to bring this back here. And I'm going to pin. And I'm going to create an up style and updo um, with the rest of this hair. My mannequin has been worked on all week. So my curls are not as curly as I would want them to be. So I've placed one pin in like this. I'm going to crisscross that pin over on the other side. Just so that it stays nice and secure. I'm going to come over. I'm going to grab another piece of hair from the right side. And I'm going to bring it over. Okay. And I'm going to pin this in. Now, you don't have to do the same up style in the back. Use your imagination to create what you want. What we want you to do is either create, create it with um, back brushing or back combing. It's up to you, however you want to do it. Okay, so you can see the gist of what I'm doing. I'm just bringing little pieces of hair and I'm going to create. Okay. A little bit of an updo. I'm leaving the ends of the hair out. And when you do something like this class, you uh, you can use these styles for proms, weddings, special events, um, where people don't know how to do this on their own. And something like this, you can charge a little bit of money for. I My up styles usually are about $65, and uh, they take under an hour to do. So, um, you know, it's about... it's how much work and it's creativity, it's artistic, but you want to do what's, you want to do something they wouldn't be able to do on their own. So I'm just kind of bringing this over. I'm just sectioning and bringing this.
And as you go along, you're just creating your up style. So you guys do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be this one. The other day in class, I taught the back. I, I did a French twist. But today you just decide what you would like to do. Okay? So you create an up style. But the lesson is an up style, and it has to have some back combing or back brushing in it. That is the rule for this particular comb out, because that's part of the class that we taught you. Okay, you know, I'm gonna show you a little trick of the tray. If you have something that's hanging, you don't know what to do, you put your pin in the center of the strand of hair, and you take it, and you turn it, and you pin it, okay? And then you get it there. The nice thing about up styles today, they don't have to be really, um, tight and super neat. They can be very loose. And then you can pull this out and just make it as full as you want it or whatever you want to do with it. But that's an up style, just very simple, something that you want to do with some back brushing. I'm going to show you the next piece, which is going to be back combing. Okay. Back combing has a tighter base to it. Okay. It's right at the scalp. It has a little tighter, firmer base. And I'm going to show you. I don't use a lot of back combing. I like back brushing when I incorporate updos, but I sure like to use back combing if I'm working in a haunted house uh, where we've done some zombies, things like that, because, you know, the students that are, or the actors that are in the um, haunted house, they have to have their hair last all night through a lot of different conditions. I mean, it get, gets pretty hot in there. So I like to do up um, back combing for zombies. And I've had to do maybe back combing on a couple of ladies that their hair was really thin. And so I had to uh, create a firmer base. But see with this, it's simple. You can just, you can see that there's a base, but it's not super tight. You can still put my comb in there. You can still have that in there. Okay. But I'm going to brush this out, the base there, and I'm going to show you what to do if you were gonna do back combing, okay? You're gonna find that the back combing is a little bit um, firmer at the base, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Okay. And I'm gonna use my back combing comb brush, I mean back combing comb with the pick, I'm sorry, not the brush. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do back comb all the way past the mid shaft, almost halfway through the mid shaft. The difference is between back combing and back brushing is that I'm gonna lock the next section that I take here, I'm gonna lock it in to the existing um, section that I back combed. So these two, I'm going to kind of marry them together, lock them together. Look how much more firm that base is. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, it looks scary. Well, it can be if you were doing a zombie, but you can use this back combing. I'm going to take that existing piece that I back combed and I'm going to back comb it. This has a much firmer base. Okay. Then I'm going to take my comb. I actually prefer my brush just to smooth out. Okay. The top. Okay. Okay, so then I would create and do the same as we did with an updo, but that's back brushing. I mean, back combing. I'm sorry. This, you can see, it's got a firmer base at the scalp. Okay, so this is not as loose. This has much of a, much more of a firmer base. I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn it over. Okay. 
and that class has much more of a firmer base, okay? And then you can create whatever you want as an updo here, okay? Or you can put your back brushing in here, whatever you want. Just use incorporate back brushing or back combing into an updo, okay? And then you can do whatever you want with the back, all right? So there's your lesson on back combing and back brushing with an up style or updo. And you will post this on your uh, Google Classroom, put it on the stream and just name it so that we know what we're grading. And that will be great. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. And um, please let us know in class if you have any questions with what we just learned. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.